last time you played Purdue was obviously a much different outcome, much different game. What what was so different today compared to the last time you guys played them? Uh, felt like number eleven. Uh, I mean, felt like number fifteen on that team was more involved this time. Uh, I don't know how much he had last time, but I think he had his total of what he had last time in the first half this game. You know, um, but. You know, overall, you know, I, I really can't just speak on exactly what it was. You know, like I said, I like to watch the film, and I'll be able to tell you more after that. But, you know, I'll just, like I said, I have to watch the film first. What do you think? Uh, I mean, they were coming up a couple of losses, you know, they're back at home. So, you know, of course, that always rallied into, you know, the energy of the game and, you know, how teams are going to come out and play. So, um, yeah, I just got the random When I talked to, to Sean after the Iowa game, he said that, you guys, you guys at least showed something in the last couple of minutes. You're down 28. You cut it to you lost by 17. You guys played hard down the stretch. Did, it did not seem the same today. Is that a, is that fair to say? Did you guys play hard enough in this game, especially once it got out of hand? Uh, I definitely feel like we played hard enough. You know, coaches emphasizing. You know, just we need to play the right way. Just continue to do what we do, and the results will come. So I think um, today is probably the best we played in a while. Um, even though we didn't get the result we wanted. You know, it's a tough team, but I feel like it's the best we played. In. Gene, can you talk about just how tough it is to, to guard a guy that, that much bigger than you, obviously bigger than everybody, right? Um, yeah, I mean, you see it as just it's a constant battle. You know, every every 30 seconds of the shot clock, he's constantly battling with him, just trying to, you know, make it tough for him, make it hard. And, of course, he's, you know, set for you got feet on you. So, um, just, it's just tough, honestly. Oh, and helping you guys in there, too, with minutes and, and fouls as well. What was it like to see him out there, given that he spent so much time with you guys in practice? Um, it was good to see him out there. Uh, Owen's a hard worker. He hasn't complained since day one, um, regardless of what coaches ask him to do. And it's good to see guys like that, you know, going to the game, um, you know, because <clears throat> he's never stepped on the floor at this high major of a level. You know, that's something that his family was watching. You know, um, grandmothers, cousins, everybody was watching. That's the moment that, you know, he'll cherish forever that can't be taken away. You know, so um, I was happy for him in that uh, accord. But, you know, overall, we came out with a loss. So, you know, it doesn't really just feel too good. But, you know, overall, I'm happy for him and his family and everybody that got to see him be out there. This is your last go around in college basketball. With only a couple of games left. I'm sure this is not the season you thought you were signing up for. What is this like for you to go through this? Um, you know, I feel like uh, personally, me, uh, like I said, I just show up to practice every day, keep working. Um, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I know later down the road it'll reveal why. You know, whether it's for me personally or for this team and the players that's going to be here after I leave. But uh, like I said, in the future, I'll figure out. And I mean, in the future, I feel like it'll reveal itself. Got to reveal it for me. So I'm not bothered by any means. Uh, Gene said he felt like you guys, the coach said, you see your better games that you played. Is that how you put it up again exactly? Uh, yeah, just, just, you know, the stuff that we work on, the stuff that he's emphasizing, you know, playing together, smarter, tougher. Um, you know, he said it's, it's probably one of the most connected games we've played in a while, just, you know, playing for each other, just, you know, playing your hardest stay away. Mm -hmm. Not in the aspects of, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, I mean, we lost about what, 20 yeah. something, 30, I don't know. I mean, and he's not meaning that you know he played enough in a good enough way to win. You know, obviously that wasn't the case. But um, on the things that we talk about in film and that we're watching over, what we know that we need to get better at. Um, past couple of games, we might have been doing those things good for five minutes, six minutes. Today, he's just saying maybe we did it good for 19, 20 minutes. You know, um, so that's all it is. It's about improving at this point for us and our team. Just about improving um, and just working hard. And like I say every day, just I keep trusting these staff. So that's that's. Just what it is. Just keep trusting the staff and keep working, showing up every day. So can you give an example of maybe one of those things? Uh, you know, it's team stuff. It's team stuff. You know, that's I like to keep that in mind. So it's team stuff, but it's, it's it's intangibles though. It's good stuff for us, and it's yeah, it's real good. What was the big shift in the second half? Because the first half, you guys were keeping it close. It seemed like foul trouble was obviously handcuffing a little bit. But what did you notice in the second half that Purdue did well? I feel like they got a lot more threes going, um, and that kind of separated the score. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only thing I really noticed. Uh, Zed being out, I don't know what that means for him going forward, but what does that impact on this team, um, not having him in a game like this and potentially going forward? Uh, uh, I mean, Zed's, Zed Key is a talented player. You know, that's my guy, that's my brother. And um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's so many other scholarship players on the team. So next guy up mentality just got to be ready. So today it was Owen, she, you know, um, just got to figure out a way. That's that's what it's about. It's about finding a way. You know, no matter who we got out there, it's about just finding a way. Gene, what have you seen from him? Is he kind of battle for this? It's like every game he's been grabbing at the shoulder. You've known that for a while. How have you seen him play through this? Um, yeah, it's tough, you know, after going out of Purdue and just, you know, battling back, trying to get back, just, you know, contribute to the team and just trying to do everything he can. But, you know, obviously it's kind of tough, you know, every other game is, you know, grabbing his shoulder, he's hurt every 30 seconds. So, um, you know, it's a tough battle for him. We took today off.
just to you know try to get some more rest for the next upcoming games. But yes, definitely just watch the baby just struggle. I know you guys try to ignore the big picture and kind of stay in the here and now, but with a couple coming up at home, how important is you guys sort of get some positive momentum going towards the Big Ten tournament where it's kind of a clean slate once you get there? Um, I feel like it's real important for us, you know, to come home and uh, try to get these next two. Um, obviously, we want to uh, have momentum going into the Big Ten tournament, but at the end of the day, um, the main focus is just the next game, which I believe is on Thursday against Penn State. You know, that's that's just the main focus for us. I can't even talk to you about the game after the Big Ten tournament. Like, our, our focus just has to be winning the next game. So, we're going to prep for that and get ready. Well, one more, you guys. How different does this feel? I kind of asked this earlier, but just thinking about that last Purdue game where it comes down in the last 30 seconds and when they make a play, you guys don't make a play. That's the difference. This one, it was a 20-point deficit for the last, like, 19 and a half minutes. How different does it feel standing here right now? You did play that same team 45 days later, but it was a very different outcome. Even if you did do some of those things, you talked about better that you were focusing on. Yeah, honestly, it's just it's rough. Taking it out, it's just... Which, like you said, it was close game last time. This one was a little different. Um, obviously, they're at home, so that makes a difference. But um, just trying to keep moving forward. Thanks, guys.